I'm excited about the research in the Material Science and Engineering Department at the University of Delaware because of its real capacity to transform society. It's all about looking at the frontier and generating new knowledge and looking into the horizon from what we already know to what isn't known. We're focused on research. Polymers, organic materials, and biomaterials is one big focus. Uh, another area is inorganic materials and then composites. So there's a lot of really exciting stuff that we're working on right now. The research in my group is focused on using light to understand how materials work. We're particularly interested in probing very small materials, things at the nanometer length scales, which is a thousand times smaller than a human hair. There's a lot of interesting applications of these small materials, including both photovoltaics and new logic devices. Delaware has been a center of activity for solar energy, converting light into energy, and that's a topic that has become all that much more important in the last few years. The Institute of Energy Conversion is a, um, uh, is, is a research component of the University of Delaware. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary laboratory, and we were, we've been part uh, and coupled with the material science program. We are developing the next generation of low-cost and high-efficiency solar cells to improve the utilization of renewable energy. We're sort of a soup-to-nuts laboratory. We go from starting with either a piece of glass or a silicon wafer, we deposit materials, we characterize those materials, we take those and make them into solar cell devices, then we do device characterization. And a unique uh, part of our uh, efforts is that we do process development and process engineering so you can transfer the technologies effectively to commercial uh, environment and in, in industry. One of our roles as a research institute is to educate students and postdocs because in 10 years they're going to be the ones driving the industry and driving the new technology. So we view that as a critical part to our role here within the university and within the, the United States Solar Energy Program. Our research efforts in biomaterials are, I think, going to be very important in having an impact on society. Uh, in my own lab, we create materials that interface electronic biomedical devices with the body. So these devices are being used for bionic eyes, bionic ears, neural implants. You know, once you have new materials that can do these sorts of things, there are many new opportunities to look at how they can be implemented. Yeah, we've been very fortunate uh, to be part of the cutting edge technology of composites in the U.S., if not the world. Uh, the center is an internationally recognized center of excellence, and we do work in the synthesis of new materials the characterization of these materials from the molecular, nano, to the meso and macro scale, as well as the processing and manufacturing of new novel composite materials. But many of our success stories have been the uh, marriage of basic science with applied research and our working closely with our industrial sponsors. Uh, the other big thing that's happening on campus here at Delaware is that we've been investing a lot of resources to build a brand new interdisciplinary science and engineering laboratory, or the ICE Lab. Uh, that building uh, has about 200,000 square feet of space. But one of the things that we want to be able to do better is to go from a device design all the way to the production of and characterization of those devices all within the same facility. So we're going to have a beautiful 10,000 square foot clean room that will allow us to accomplish that. It's a real game changer for our campus and for our department because it will really allow us to think about new ways of making new materials and devices that we don't currently have the capability to do. One of the great things about the material science department here at University of Delaware is that we have a very strongly interdisciplinary and very collaborative environment. We have people doing artificial human tissues to next generation semiconductor devices. They're all sitting at the same tables, they're talking to each other, and they're coming up with new approaches to doing things. We are really focused on things that are new and emerging and evolving because we have, that's all we do. We really live and breathe the research university as the uh, example of how to forge forward into the new millennium. If you